Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So welcome to another Monster Spotlight. Today I have with me Drew Sensei and his Water Anu. Now this is uh, this is a monster I actually never caught before. If you look at my Astro Guide, I've never actually caught a Water Anu. I can prove it. I can prove it. I've never ever caught a Water Anu before. Um, <laughs> but but recently, you know, I actually recently only caught my first Water Miho, but I've never actually caught a Water Anu. That's because I don't really farm on hard mode. Um, he only appears on hard mode. That's why that's why um, you have to you know You have to do hard mode in order to get him on the second continent. Um, he's definitely a farmable monster I think if you farm for like a week or so you should definitely be able to get one. I can't guarantee but Because um, I've had some pretty pretty shitty luck like trying to get Anu's last week as well But uh, you can definitely you can definitely get one um, if you if you try hard enough but you will need to like farm a lot of copies in order to make him evil 3 so yeah, he has him at evil 3 right here, and um, the Water Annie is a really good monster. He has defense down and predator. The defense down can work in um, farming PvP. Well, it's not too good for farming because it can make your monsters like focus one unit, but if you have like a nuker that can wave clear on Siphon, then this wouldn't matter, and it would actually be very effective on like boss stages. Um, it's also quite good for Titans because defense down is obviously a very, very important debuff. And his Predator can make him a damage dealing monster as well. So he can be a, he can be, he has a bit of utility. He's also a DPS monster. He's very, very nice. He's got, I think, 3200 ish um, attack on ba on his base stat. So Drew Sensei here has him on Valor set with HP double attack. Um, this one has 22% resist. 14% crit rate here. Basically just a lot of attack. Um, base he just put together three Valor 6-star gems and now he has very very high attack. So that, that's actually very very good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try a team with him. Um, should I give him the crit lead? Yeah, so we can actually see what how much damage he does on crit. Just give him a little bit more crit. Wait, he only has 15% crit. Wait, what? He, I, I, I thought I saw a level 4 leader skill. Well, that's actually quite interesting. If you use an ally, if you use a friend's leader skill, it only gives you the base. It doesn't give you any bonus. That's 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 pretty interesting. I never I never knew that. Um, okay, let's let's put in a, a light tank so, you know, so nothing bad happens to him. Put in I'll put in her. She's my favorite monster to use for monster spotlights. She puts up the shield and everybody is safe. Um, put in an armor breaker so we can see how much damage he does on armor break. Where the heck is my Thor? And uh, I think that's all we need. That's all we really need. Um, I was thinking of giving a better leader skill, a better crit lead. Um, I guess I guess this is fine. We'll we'll give him a, we'll put a bar booster in this way. He has he has a higher chance to get an AOE. I think these three are my my favorite for testing monsters and for monster spotlighting. Um, I'll just put them in so we can we can see how much damage they actually deal. All right, so. You. Oh wait, he also has an armor break himself, so he he can actually serve as an armor breaker. All right, we'll turn this to one time speed. We'll do a damage test on the uh, the dark moon flower. See how much damage this this thing does. It's probably not going to crit. About four thousand four hits of four thousand. Did put the armor break on her, so I guess we'll I guess we'll kill her. So we're less of a threat for my my team. Alright, I think my Siren should be fine. Alright, this time I'm going to try to armor break the Moonflower and we can see how much damage he does um, with the armor break already applied to the monster. So he does about not exactly double the damage. Um, keep in mind he only has two attack slots. He is, he is gemmed with one slot HP, so he's not going to do as much damage as like a full nuker. But it's still very, very nice damage in my opinion. See if we can get a crit on him. I'm not sure uh, how many times, how many tries it's gonna get to get a crit. All right, that's that's a crit. 
So it's like four hits of 12k on an arm broken unit um, if he does crit. Now you can expect this type of damage if you say for example put him on crit rate double attack. He could he could probably do do this much damage. Um, but if you if you look at like you know the calculation on like MSL nest and stuff, you'll find that most monsters usually um, have higher DPS if you put them on triple attack. So he's probably still better if you like want to build him as a full nuker. It's probably better to still put him on triple attack. Let's see if we can get a crit without uh without armor break. All right, that didn't crit. It was about 4k. The good thing about the Anus is his animation is actually pretty easy to see. So there's there's no trouble there, counting like how many hits he does. Actually, I remember his uh his his active skill does a lot of hits as well. We'll we'll wait for next wave before we uh before we unleash his AOE. Cause I, I kinda wanna get like two units. I wanna armor break one and see how much damage it does on that one. And one without armor break. I think if you look at the monsters, the enemy monsters in B10, um the ones with I think the highest defense is the is the Moonflower, because she's a she's an at four. And then it's the I think it's the B, then the minnows and the then the sparklers. All right. If we don't have a repeat of the same monster, I'll. All right, good. We have we have two bees. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna armor break one and then turn it to one times, and then we can see how many, how much damage it does um, on the armor break and without the armor break. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one of those hits did only six k, but uh, all the other hits did twelve k. So it was like six hits of. 12k and like one hit of 6k so it was, it was about damn it my math is so bad uh, 70 it was about 80k damage yeah it was about 80k in terms of AoE um, on, a, on armor broken units and it did actually manage to one shot the sparklers so that's actually pretty cool This guy is definitely a solid monster. He's 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 very good. All right, let's uh, let's kill this thing. We'll let Annie do the honors. Oh man, I didn't land the armor break, but we still we still managed to kill it. So that's that's actually pretty good. I should have put up the shield. That was uh, that was my mistake. Ah oh, man, put attack down on me. Now I'm sad. Sorry, we'll wait a few turns for him to get his bar full. Then we can do some uh, do some nice, nice deeps to the golem. All right, there we go. Now he he doesn't have his uh, attack down. We're gonna armor break the golem. I'm gonna put the, put up the shield. Wait, I can't put up the shield. Uh, we'll do this, and then we'll we'll do an AOE on the golem. This should probably be able to kill this side unit, if it crits. Oh nice, it did crit. It's very, very good. So that was like 14k as a hit. He does 7 hits, but for some reason one of his hits does less damage. It's, uh, it's, quite, it's quite weird. That silence sure is annoying. All right, there we go. That's now. Now we got a full bar. All right, let's do this again. Let's turn to one time so we can see if like actually one of those hits does less damage than the others. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, why did, it, why did it look like it did 7 hits before? It did like 1 extra hit of less damage, I don't know why. I've never seen that on any other monster before, maybe it was a visual error. Because I, I don't see that anymore. 
But anyways, he does around like 70 to 80k damage um, on an unbroken unit, and he is on a Valor set with two attack, and uh, you should expect some similar damage if you go with crit rate double attack. You'll get higher crits if you go with triple attack, but then you'll need like very good uh, crit substats. But you probably get higher damage if you go with an attack lead and triple attack um, than if you went with a crit lead with triple attack. All right, I think I think I should let him do the honors. This sh we should this should be able to kill the boss. We'll just finish him off. That is that is it. That is the that is the water anu spotlight. It was my first experience with this monster. I never really actually I probably encountered him a few times in, in PvP, um, but I never tried him out or anything like that. I don't I don't actually have the monster. I never obtained the monster before. So yeah, that's that's uh it was a it was a pretty good uh pretty good learning experience for me as well but anyways that is that is pretty much it um thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this monster spotlight and if you want me to do more spot if you want me to do a spotlight on your monster um it's the, the list is getting long so like pm me on discord so i don't lose anyone because there's people like that leave comments saying that hey uh do a spotlight and i'm like k okay, and then i like you know I, I might not be at my computer at the time so i can't like add them or anything like that you know i might be like replying to comments sitting on the toilet or some shit like that and uh and yeah if you but if you pm me on discord it like leaves a record so i can i can see everyone um that ever requested a monster spotlight um so yeah that's pretty much it um thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out